Welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Every day, I bring you breaking AI news, diving into the implications it has in your life and business. If you're interested in sponsoring the podcast and getting your company in front of thousands of AI enthusiasts every day, there's an email in the description. Finally, make sure you are on the wait list for the AI Box platform, a tool we are building to allow you to automate virtually any task with AI tools. Find it at AIbox.ai. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. Today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about a new startup that has just raised $2.1 million as a pre-seed round for their new AI startup. We're going to dive into what it means and where we see this going in the future. So let's get into it. So the company is called gushwork.ai. Essentially, this is a platform that is targeting the business process outsourcing or BPO sector. And it has now raised this $2.1 million, which was led by Lightspeed. They also had B Capital, Sparrow Capital, Seaborn Capital, and B Next. Um, this financing comes only a few months after this platform actually launched back in April. If you go to their website now, um, you know, you can request to get on the wait list. So this is not this is by in no means, you know, a, a publicly running essentially company. Um, and of course, they're just in their pre-seed round. So I think really the fusion of AI technology with human expertise is what is um, really being offered as a promising solution to businesses right now with this new startup. Um, And I think this is essentially aiming to help, you know, cut down high operational costs. So traditional practices have often relied heavily on hiring um, skilled professionals to handle routine tasking like HR, administration, payroll management, all that kind of stuff, right? And this is quite expensive when you're hiring professionals in all of these different areas. So these operations now, because of AI, can increasingly be outsourced. Um, You have staffing agencies, you have freelancing, you have all sorts of other options. Um, And so by pioneering an AI-powered cross-border platform, gushwork.ai really addresses these cost issues head-on. So the startup is offering a vetted marketplace of offshore professionals adept at using AI applications to drive business processes with remarkable efficiency. So essentially, right, this is kind of like a Fiverr or an Upwork, but the professionals all are, you know, specifically trained and are very capable of using um, AI to really um, take their skills to the next level and to really automate what they're doing. So Nerit, who is the co-founder and CEO of Gushwork, he says that this innovation and this approach they're taking is, you know, kind of like Uberizing the employee workforce. Um he, you know, essentially this company was co-founded by himself and um, Aditha, um, who's the CPO. Um, Gus, but back in January, Gushwork AI's usage-based pricing model really began enabling businesses to hire talent part-time, um, specifically reducing operating um, and operational expenses. So I think this flexible hiring strategy really empowers businesses to scale their use of services. Um, you know, especially as you focus on whatever specific requirements they have. So I think one other area that I think is really interesting with this new startup is the fact that Gushwork also trains its workforce in AI tools, right? So they're not just finding people that are have used them, they are doing the training themselves. And I think this really helps to, you know, broaden the skill set um, of the workforce. It helps to, you know, include creative tasks, which were previously thought to require unique expertise. And I think really with this whole AI revolution that we're seeing right now and all these new AI tools, I think tasks like, you know, creating photorealistic blog designs or, you know, converting webinars to blogs and, you know, SEO even, all of that can be handled by um, and can really be automated by AI in a large way. So I think this is a really interesting um, pairing of, you know, these AI trained professionals on Gushwork that now are able to help with this. So I think Gushwork's offering really extends to a wide range of tasks, including lead prospecting, email marketing, ad management, social media engagement, CRM setup, and even data scraping from social media platforms. I think initially this kind of centered on sales and marketing operations, and then the startup is kind of um, is looking at pivoting a little bit 
to expand more into specialized roles, which I predict will be able to generate a lot more income and revenue for them. So I think despite its recent launch, they have already seen really impress impressive adoption rates with more than 50 businesses delegating over 200 complex workflows to their platform. Um, and that was just in the first three months. So I think a really significant majority of its customer base, which is approximately 80%, they actually use the platform every week and nearly 90% of it use it every month, which I would, I'm not sure exactly what the pricing structure is, but I would assume you'd want their customers to use it every month um, if it's a monthly subscription, but maybe it's not, maybe you just pay as you go. In any case, the platform mainly serves uh, small to medium sized businesses and it really kind of focuses on like bootstrap startups. I think geographically, really it's the US and Canada um, and they're looking for teams that are around two to 30 members. They have also managed to make really big inroads, I think, in the Indian market with nearly 20% of their uh, customers coming from there. They have reported that this new round of funding that they have raised is actually going to be used to kind of help their platform's quality control and also data security. They also plan to introduce features enabling businesses to create and document complex processes within the platform. And I think further investments will be directed towards kind of content-led organic market and personal building channels, um, and then also broadening its reach to new customers. So um, Lightspeed partner, who is Rahul Tanej, he said that the startup's innovative approach, quote, was the era of remote work has unlocked numerous job opportunities and workflows and can be executed from anywhere in the world. Gushwork is leveraging this tailwind and building a unique platform for businesses to delegate their most complex workflows in an elite offshore workforce trained in AI tools. We're excited to partner with the team as they innovate and shape the future of outsourcing with AI. So I think overall Gushworks workforce really kind of spans across three countries, which are there's more than 25 full-time and part-time employees. Um, the CEO is based in Brooklyn and the three founding members, including co-founder Venketesh is located in Bengaluru, India. So Overall, I think this is a really interesting startup. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more of these coming uh, to the forefront. Of course, um, they have a lot of really interesting software aspects to this, um, but a large part of this is kind of a service-based business, right? It's like a Fiverr or an Upwork with uh, trained people that are um, able to help with this, so it's not just software. Um, it'll be interesting to see if there are other more you know, exclusively software-based systems and programs that are going to be able to um, fill some of the same role that this company is taking. So it'll be interesting to see how they um, continue to evolve in the future and we will be following along. At Intel, world-changing ideas start with real solutions and real solutions start with exceptional engineering, the quantum computing revolution, the next generation of AI experts, the renewable energy grid, early diagnosis for cancer. The examples are countless. The impacts are endless. But the foundation is always the same. It starts with Intel. Learn more at intel.com slash stories. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate us wherever you listen to your podcast. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure to check out our Discord channel and Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can share software tools and prompts we're using in AI every day. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.